Hello guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Clash of Clans and uh, thank you guys for watching my videos and supporting me, subscribing to me and commenting on my videos um, I really appreciate that and also another thing uh, I haven't been introducing to you guys the basics of this game and today I shall be introducing to you um, <coughs> the basics okay so first before I begin I'd like to say that uh, this game is still in early stages of development and it does not have all the features right now so you will see that there isn't a ranking system there is a ranking system but this 520 trophies is only um, it's only public to you so only you can see it and no one else unless when people attack you then they can see how many trophies you have but apart from that there is no ranking uh, not now I'm pretty sure they will add that feature in in later st stages of this game but for now there's no ranking and as you guys know uh, <clears throat> this is the UI of the game this is how the game looks like it has the level system here up, up here which says my level level 25 uh, my gold and my potions here and my trophies and right here on the top you can see the building icon a hammer icon which shows how many builders you have obviously you can have more by making more builder shacks but you require some of these jewels or gems to build them <clears throat> and also another thing you can see here is the shield I have no shield right now you normally get a shield I think a 12 hour shoot when someone, a 6 hour shoot when you destroy, someone destroys your town hall and if they destroy more than, I think if they get 2 stars more than 80, like 70% you get a 12 hour shoot and if you they destroy you 100% you get a 24 hour shoot I think okay and so here this is the tab which shows the quest uh, I'm not claiming this quest yet because I'm trying to get my level as low as possible uh, because if I get my level higher, I'll, I'll match make with higher level people when I attack. So here we can see our defense and attack report, our defense and mailbox. Uh, so this shows you what you've attacked and how many gold, who you attack, what you've attacked, and how much gold or potions you have looted, and the trophies as well. You also can watch a replay. Uh, yeah. So and the last tab here on the right is the Earn Jewels tab. Uh, I think this tab is basically to promote this game uh, because it's currently in the early stages so you can earn jewels by clicking here and you can look they, they, they teach you how to do stuff like you can fortify your defenses if you upgrade two of your cannons level 8 you can win 100 jewels which is quite a good um, offer but Obviously my level is too low right now, I can't upgrade my cannons level 8. And another one here which is a 50% bonus on the $19.90 jewel package. Which obviously they're trying to promote the sale of jewels. They're trying to, to make people buy the jewels. And trophy ranking. Yeah, they show the top ranks. Oh yeah, this is this is one of the ways you can see people's rank trophies. But I think apart from that, that's the only way because these are the top ranks. 1 to 20 yep, you can see the first guy he has 1627 trophies which is heaps and the last thing where you can earn jewels I think it ends today is where you upgrade 2 of your potion vaults to level 11 which obviously I can't do it as well because my account is to level 5 okay so uh, yep that's basically it and you can see at the bottom left, <coughs> there's a shop icon where you can buy stuff, you can buy uh, jewels, or you can uh, fill up your potion vault, fill up your gold vault, blah blah blah. And the next one is uh, military, where there's only three military buildings you can uh, construct right now. It's just the barracks, campsite, and the secret lab. Mm. So, the barracks, as I've said in the previous video, it it is basically a building where you can train your troops and you can you can stack them and stuff and the campsite is basically where you hold your troops 
So your troops are basically staying there, and if they're full, you cannot you cannot uh, up make any more troops. And the secret lab is the place where you upgrade your troops to to higher levels where they become stronger and stuff. So the next one <coughs> is the shield, which I've already went through. Uh, you buy them for jewels. I think you can buy them for gold right now. And the resources, which is build a shack, gold vault, potion vault, gold mine, potion plant. Or this, this four, this four. I mean, these two things, gold mine and potion plant, are uh, used to generate gold and potions. Where well, you can see, they're the main currencies in this game. Uh, right now, they're the main currencies. And potion vault and the gold vault is where you store your your currency, the potion and gold. Okay, so build a shack. I've already went through. And defenses, there are pretty. Uh, there are a few number of defenses. Uh, so you can see the walls are here. You can build walls. Not gonna build them right now. Mm, you can build a cannon, which I already have max, max cannons. Uh, sniper tower, mortar, air defense, magic tower, Irma guard, and the reaper. Uh, I'm not so sure how you pronounce this, but I think it's Irma. Okay, so. These are basically the defenses. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so that's all, guys, for the shop. And the next feature is the attack button, where you can see you can play single player. You can do the solo campaign where you attack. Um, basically, they are generated. They are generated campaigns where you can attack uh, AIs or uh, like basically attack the computer. You attack the defense and you gain a certain amount of loot. Yeah, like here, I've already attacked this base. I think they gave me two thousand gold, two thousand potion. They don't give much uh, loot, but they're good for leveling up <coughs> experience. <coughs> okay, so I'm currently at level nineteen, Echo Century. I'm not I'm not gonna attack it right now. And this is the multiplayer feature where obviously this is the place where you find fights and you fight people around. Uh, you fight people who have played this game as well. It's basically attacking uh, opponent. I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, I'm gonna click find a fight. So every time you find a fight, you you use uh, you you have to spend a certain amount of gold <coughs> to attack someone. So as you can see I can go to the next opponent which cost me another hundred gold. Mm, you can end battle but if you do yeah you don't lose anything because you, have, you haven't uh, attacked anyone or put any of your troops down so it's fine if any other questions you can just comment on YouTube or send me an email I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks